Welcome to another Oxley training video. Uh, we're in the cow shed. Uh, the reason why it's called a cow shed might become evident as we do the exercise this afternoon. What we're going to talk about today, as the title suggests, is fans in reverse. I was going to talk about fun with fans, but Amy Farrah Fowler wasn't available today. So we're going to have to stick with me and um, a recent survey found that when they looked at centrifugal fans three-phase driven, approximately 7% were running backwards. Now that's about 1 in 13, 1 in 14. How, how can that possibly be? We have a centrifugal fan here. Quite clearly, that fan, looking at it, should turn in an anticlockwise direction. The air coming in here, discharge here. How can we have 7% running backwards? Well, physically, the reason is that they're often three-phase driven, and if the electrician has wired the phases the opposite way to the way it was intended, then the motor will turn in the opposite direction. So this fan, as we look at it, would actually turn in a clockwise direction if the phases were reversed. How can that not be picked up? Because, as we're going to look at with our little test kit here, if the fan is running in reverse, the critical point here, it will still draw air in the correct direction. It won't blow air out. Now, if we then look to axial fans, which we sometimes find in this industry, axial fans are almost never wired up wrongly because axial fans will blow suck. So we're not going to get it wrong. So what I want to do is I have a, a, a device on the wall which will reverse the phases. We will see the ribbons here. When the fan is running normally, we will see the ribbons flowing in this direction and jumping ahead. When we stop it, reverse the phases, the fan will then be running in the opposite direction to normal. The ribbons will still flow in the same direction, hopefully, if everything is right. So let's have a go at that and see how we get on. First of all, we'll switch it on. What I'm going to do, incidentally, is I'm going to use a pitot tube at a fixed position in the duct as a relative test. It's going to pick up velocity. The area is the same, so the volume flow rate will be the same, um, whether it's forward or reverse, in terms of relative terms. So we will go into a certain point. We'll take the velocity. We will use the old equation, the V equals 1.29 square root VP, convert it to a velocity. If you're with me and you agree, we will then compare the velocity that we get when it's in reverse, in the same direction, of course, and then we'll look at what percentage we get of design. So that's the theory. Let's hope it all works. First of all, we're going to switch it on into the forward direction. And you can see the ribbons are showing the direction of travel. We've given it a few seconds now. We're going in with the Beto tube to a fixed point. I'm going to take the reading nice and easy. 246 pascals velocity pressure. Switch off to let the fan run down. So what we had there was 246 pascals. We're going to have to square root that in a minute and multiply it by 1.29. Now we're going to go in with it in reverse. So we put the fan into reverse, reverse the phases. The air continues to flow in the same direction, but I think you can see that the ribbons are not quite so lively. So even visually, we're getting the idea something's not quite as good as it used to be. So now we're going to go in at the test point. We're going to go to the same position We're getting 45 pascals. So, if we do that, we will take 45 pascals. We're going to square root that and multiply it by 1.29. So, what do those figures give us? Now, in the first one, 246 square rooted times 1.29 gives us 20.2 meters per second. 
Now, the second case, we have 45 pascals square rooted times 1.29. We are getting 8.7 meters per second. Now, what is the ratio of what we should get? So, if we divide 8.7 divided by 20.2, we get 43%. 43% of design flow will still continue in the correct direction when it's in reverse. Now, that's possibly one of the main reasons why 7% of the fans are found to be running backwards. Now, those, guys, those of you guys who are doing um, thorough examination and tests, if you don't occasionally come across um, a fan running in reverse, and you're dealing with a lot of centrifugal fans, either the electrical maintenance people are really red hot, or maybe you're not doing the job quite so good as you should do. So you should be expecting an occasional fan to be running in reverse. When you do find one, my tip to you is listen to it. You will find that it will sound slightly different, more rumbly, the air's cavitating, if you will. It's not quite going in the direction that we would like. That's the end of the exercise. Next time, we may look at aerodynamics of fans, um, but that involves me going up in an airplane, and I'm not sure about that just yet. So have fun. See you soon.